This morning we're going to learn how to unzip multiple zip files to a directory with PowerShell. And let's just hit this really fast and then make a few notes about some upcoming changes in PowerShell. So what we do, uh, we have a function here that we're going to be passing in the source, which will be a file path, and the destination, which will be a file path. And it's going to loop through, get all the zip files in the source, loop through all of the files, and then unzip them all. So let's pull up our directory here. We have three nice little uh, zip files, and we're going to unpack them. And it's actually pretty fast, of course, uh, unless they're you know terabytes of data, which these aren't. And you'll see we have them all unpacked. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these. Go back to this. So if you're looking for a quick answer, ta-da! Hit pause and go from there. Now. Those of you who are actually interested in learning, let's go over to this one. Now, I've removed this system reflection assembly load with partial name because this is going to be deprecated in upcoming PowerShell versions. And instead, I've done what the new one will be, which is add type. Notice I'm passing in the assembly name, and I'm passing in really what I was passing in over here, system.io compression file system. The difference is I'm adding the type assembly name. I'm specifying what type it is and I'm passing this in, you'll notice that pretty much everything is straightforward and the same. The difference is the add type. This is not deprecated. Uh, this right here is going to be deprecated coming up. Okay, And you'll notice it still runs in PowerShell. I believe this is 3.0. Um, yeah, it's 3.0. But still, it's, it's always good to know, okay, this is going to be deprecated in the future, so don't get in the habit of using it. All right? So let's go ahead and uh, let's execute this. It will do the same thing, of course, but it just kind of shows you that it works fine as well. And you will see that we unpacked everything. So I would suggest to always get started earlier to not use uh, the PowerShell code that's going to be deprecated in future versions. You, you can use uh, the load with partial name, but you see it's not that hard to do add type. It's actually very straightforward and very simple. Um, anyone who complains about it, and you'll always get those people who are like, oh, it's so hard, I have to learn something new. Yeah, as you can see, it was it's a very difficult process to do. So um, figure out, you know, learn add type. Um, remember to pass in the assembly name. There's not a whole lot of differences, as you saw, and uh, go from there.